Walk on Water was founded in September of 2012. Um, we're about four years old now, and uh, I'm sorry, September 2013. Uh, so we're coming up on our four-year anniversary. Uh, this really was born out of an idea that Pat Nataro uh, had. He um, he wanted to really carry on the legacy of his father after his father suddenly passed away uh, a few years ago. He was uh, an avid waterman and and really was uh, involved with charitable causes. Um, so Pat had uh, initially lent his father's name and uh, and created a a Pat Nataro Memorial Surf Day here at Malibu, uh, and it was run by the Surfer Sealing Program for many years. Uh, when I uh, met Pat through Surfers Healing, we talked a lot about a, a shared passion for charitable causes and, and with uh, the idea that we really wanted to try and do something on our own, something a little different, something that was super inclusive. Um, one of our biggest goals was really um, trying to understand the full family dynamic that comes with uh, families with children with special needs. Uh, often there's this separation that uh, occurs where the child with special needs is, is treated differently and experiences different things than the other siblings and the rest of the family. So we really wanted to do an event where we could bridge that gap and get the siblings with the quote unquote neurotypical sibling along with the uh, sibling with special needs out in the water together, experiencing something together so they'd have something to bond over and at the same time, you know, allow the parents and the rest of the family to come, have a relaxing day at the beach, something to sort of unwind from the day to day, uh, what's really a 24 7, 365 job of raising a child with special needs. And that's why we really we take everything off their hands. They just come down to the beach, we take their kid. We walk them over, put a wetsuit and life jacket on them, we get them in the water, we're with them the whole time in the water, we have all these water safety people talking to them, calming them down, they get to experience that stoke of catching a wave and, and this therapeutic sensation that occurs when you're in the ocean with the swell and the current and all that. And then when they come in, there's, they're just all smiles and they, they really get this family bonding time. Um, it's, it's really an incredible thing to witness. So. That's, we kind of knew right away after our first event that we were on to something pretty special just based on the responses from the families and um, we've just been trying to grow it since because uh, the original families that came started telling their, fam their uh, friends in the special needs community and the word just kind of spread organically and we started getting all these families wanting to come down and experience it so we knew we had to provide more opportunities, more events. Um, there's only so many kids you can take out at an event and still maintain that that really like close-knit familial feel that we want to aim for. Um, and that's why you'll see so many volunteers at our events. We really want to make sure we have more volunteers than kids surfing so that there's this a minimum one-to-one -one interaction going on where every kid is always being played with on the beach, taken out to body surf, catching a wave. Whatever they're doing, they're really enjoying themselves while they're down here. So.